exceed. No. 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 I don't trust it. I've never gotten the flu shot either, though. And you and I have talked about that. And several of the doctors on my team talk to me about, Wendy, we'll get the flu shot. I've never had the flu. I'm not getting a flu shot. I very rarely get a cold. I never have headaches. I don't take an aspirin because I feel my heart murmur or something like that. I'm not getting. No, I don't trust it. There, I said it. Yeah. So let me go back to vaccines for a second, because what you say and believe is so important (laughs) To a lot of people, I mean, millions and millions of Americans are going to say, Wendy Williams didn't get a vaccine, so I don't want to get a vaccine. So let me just ask you if there's anything that could happen that would make you feel comfortable. Ten million people get vaccinated without a problem. Your neighbor gets vaccinated as sibling. Your son gets vaccinated. Someone that's dear to you gets vaccinated and does well. That might make you think, you know, just to get past the hassle of having to lie on my back, recovering from COVID-19 or maybe not recovering. Uh, is not worth the risk that I might actually consider this vaccine. I'm not getting the vaccine. Listen, 10 million people and more have the flu vaccine. And how many people per year catch the flu? Peace, Black Atypical. You are now tuning in to another Black Atypical video from yours truly, a Black Atypical representative. Now, today's video, I will be discussing the topic of Wendy Williams. Y'all know the uh, the black female talk show host, talk show host Wendy Williams. She publicly announced that she will not be taking the C19 vaccine. Cause you know, YouTube with its censorship, you really can't say C19. You can't say that scene too much. Are they gonna censor your video? But I'ma say it. She publicly denounced taking the coronavirus COVID-19 vaccine. Before I start this video, I wanna congratulate that queen. Cause I thought out of a lot of the people, celebrities with big influences, big platforms. I thought they were all a part of it, you know, to take that test, to take that vaccine. And she's just like, oh, hell no, I ain't taking a fuck thing. This is what she told the, uh, some doctor on TV live. She said, oh, no, I don't trust them. Y'all not sick of anything in me. Doctors as smart as they can be, but they don't know everything, which they do not. And then it was just, um, it was, to me, I just seen it to be amazing. Like, it allowed me to really think maybe my people aren't too far gone. Maybe not everybody's silly. And this coming from Wendy Williams, the girl who just make a living off, the woman who make a living off talking about other people's lives and what's, you know, so-called hot topics, which is really not that hot. You know, she's like one of those house mom shows, Wendy Williams. Uh, but yeah, I'm proud of I'm proud of Lil Wendy. Lil Wendy, I want to show you all the love and support. Your show might just get canceled because you're not going to going in accordance with the NWO New World Order agenda. You said fuck them, basically. She did not only say coronavirus, y'all. She by saying no, 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 no. She basically said, fuck deep state, fuck the Jewish Zionist producers, fuck communist China, fuck Biden, fuck everybody. I'm not taking that vaccine. That's the last thing I do. And when the thing I like about it is she stayed firm, she stayed resilient. Cause the doctor was like, oh, Wendy, plenty of people watch you, Wendy. Um, to your millions and millions of fan base, they're probably saying that since Wendy Williams not getting vaccinated, I'm not getting vaccinated. And she, and he like, yeah, how do you feel about that? You know, because it could be saving lives. She said, man, this is what, this is what little Wendy said. Little Wendy said, man, I don't know what you just said. I don't care what you said. You not taking that vaccine in my body. I'm not taking that vaccine. And I doubt she took the test. So I just want to congratulate a queen, you feel me? I know the white the white man industry done beat her down, uh, mutilated her, 
psychologically allowed her to mutilate herself because I know that's not your real body, Wendy. I don't care who you fooling. That's not your real hair and your skin too white for me. So I like this side of Wendy though, this woke Wendy. Wendy, you keep waking up, you keep elevating. Get you some sun, take that wig off your head. Fuck these producers, we'll support you. You don't need uh, them to give you your show. You see what you're gonna do, you see what you did now. And, and, and it's not like y'all wasn't in that video that we all seen that there wasn't social distancing. Wendy ain't have no mask, nobody in there have no mask. So, you know, it's a lot of contradictions going on, but y'all just gotta navigate through it. Wendy Williams, I'm proud of you. Uh, deep state fuck you and you know don't let them monsters stick that mark of the beast into your body and I invite all y'all to watch that Wendy Williams video I'll see if I can post it within my editing but this has been another black and typical video from your truly a black and typical representative signing out peace Two, three.